everyone, it's Susie, and um, I kind of have a lot of things going on my table right now that I want to share with you. This is my latest journal. It's hardcover. It is the fabric um, spine sewn to the pages. And anyway, I'm going to show you that, and then I have a little fun little, uh, this is just a small mini that I've made um, out of this same... Uh, uh, collection, but I kind of wanted to share with you some of the things that I've put in the Etsy shop. I have just spent all morning uh, and most of the afternoon uh, putting things in the Etsy shop that were new. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if you don't want to watch this part, you can just kind of fast forward to the to the journal. But uh, I added in there some trims that Sharon had made. Uh, I don't have that color, but I added some ecru trim that she's hand crocheted. And then I have added some uh, cream trim that she has added in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are going to come in yard lengths. Uh, but anyway, that's a couple of things that are new. And uh, I like using this trim. Um, it's just different than buying it from the store. I always feel like um, it's something different that nobody else has uh, because it's been hand crocheted. So, uh, Also, I have some little fans in there that she has made. These will have the pearls in them and uh, these pearls are not glued uh, on this fan or in the fan. They are actually crocheted in the fan. So that is something you will not have to worry about the little pearls coming off because they are they are crocheted in the fans. Um, this is uh, the cappuccino color. This is the cream color. So any of those are kind of fun. Um, I have an ecru and a white uh, in a little bit larger fan without the the pearls that are in there. They're, they'll all come in a set of five, so that's something new that's in there. And then also she has made some of these little little flowers. Uh, here's the original flowers that I have in there now, so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, but anyway, she made just a little bit smaller, a little smaller fun uh, flower there. I have got them in the cream and the white, the ecru, uh, I don't remember if I have the cappuccino or the mocha. I think just I think I have I have the cappuccino. I can't remember. Uh, like I said, I have spent all morning uh, over on Etsy listing things, and then um, <clears throat> these here I don't have in there yet, but they will be coming. These are just some little rosettes. This here I was actually going to use, and I um, glued a button in it so you can kind of see what you can do with that. These are just some fun little rosettes. And I don't have them in there yet, but but I will. They're coming soon. And then uh, yesterday, uh, my sister and I went just to some uh, antique shops yesterday, <clears throat> and I ran around, uh, ran across some really fun, fun items. This I have listed in the Etsy shop. This is a postcard. Uh, this company is the Robbins. A Robinson Milling Company. It actually went out of business in 1952. I believe uh, these are from the 40s, these uh, postcards are. And actually, it is a postcard, I guess, that was sent to, um, to uh, select women uh, that they could pick up a sample of this Robin's Best all-purpose flour at their general, you know, store, wherever their store was. They left it blank where they could write it in. And um, it says, Dear Mrs., and then we are reserving for you at blank store a complimentary sample of Robin's Best Flower. We will appreciate it if you would give this sample of Robin's Best All-Purpose Flower a good baking test and let Mr. Blank know your results. We are sure you will enjoy your baking with Robin's Best All-Purpose Flower. How cool is that? And this was also out of Selena, Kansas. But anyway, isn't that isn't that cool? So anyway, I have some of these in the in the Etsy shop. I thought those were so cute. And then um, I picked up some uh, uh, different uh, just bits and pieces here. I I put in there that I have found. I use stuff like this for my collaging on my um, altered tags and in my journals. Uh, this is usually what I do when I get different doilies and things. 
uh, vintage. I just chopped them up. And so I have actually put some, um, I've got seven d different batches. And of course they are vintage. So I mean they're going to have the stains and discoloration and, and what have you. But I use them for the trims. Like this one here has such a cute trim. I would cut that trim off and I would use it. You know, I may even cut some of this off and use it. And you can see these were actually hand tied. So they are vintage. They're not the machine, machine done uh, things. And then like this, I would cut this. This here I would even use as a linen pocket in one of my uh, journals. So anyway, I just put some, uh, and here's also some vintage trim I would use. But I just thought it would be fun to share some of that with you guys. And uh, I use stuff like that all the time for my uh, journals and my altar tags. So I thought that would be fun to put some of them in there. And then also, this was probably one of my best finds that I really uh, enjoyed finding was this Barnes's Natural Slant Penmanship Number 2 uh, book. This here, absolute fun, uh, it is to uh, teach kids how to slant their uh, lettering. Now this copyright is actually 1900 and 1901 by the American Book Company. And it is super uh, fun. And these are actually in excellent shape. I mean excellent shape for uh, the era that it was coming from. But anyway, I have actually listed these in the Etsy shop uh, for, uh, for sale. And it's the whole book. I, I didn't tear the pages apart. I thought they'd be really fun in the junk journals, you know. To use the pages so anyway these are listed uh, in the Etsy shop so anyway guys fun 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 things fun finds okay I'm going to uh, share with you this journal let me make sure that I've got it in frame this journal is pretty good size it kind of reminds me of the singer journal that I did uh, it's gonna be kind of big uh, this here I use the old like I said, the old uh, lace collection from Stamperia. I have used some vintage tatting. I've used some uh, some newer uh, uh, lace trim. I've also used some of the old vintage uh, trims on it. This here is hardcover. The spine is also hardcover. I've just ruffled some uh, oh some fabric, some white fabric. Excuse me, put some rosettes on there. This is the back. I've used some quilted uh, quilted uh, fabric here. I believe I, I got that at Joann's or Walmart. I can't remember. Uh, Joann's carries it. I got some at Joann's one time and I got some at Walmart sometimes. So. Uh, and then some more of this uh, little heart lace. This is kind of what it looks like if you're just glancing at the side of it. It's pretty thick. Um... I put a little dyed, coffee dyed tag on it, a little rusty pin, uh, some vintage buttons, some of those little rosettes, some vintage tatting here. I just had a piece of that. I have about used that piece all up. I, I love that tatting. Uh, when you open it up, this is some of that paper from, uh, from uh, Hobby Lobby right there. Here I've just got a big pocket. This is quite a good size pocket here and I've just layered I've just got layers of vintage uh, not vintage some of the quilted fabric is here layered under some crocheted lace and then a rosette here's a little booklet that I have made it's just got some coffee stain paper in it and some vintage uh, school paper really cute collection and it just goes in the pocket and like I said, there's that. I've just layered some laces. This is a vintage lace here. This is, I, I don't know if this is vintage or not. I actually picked that up at a sale, so I'm not sure. Uh, the cover, uh, what I have done is I have got the fabric spine, and I actually have sewed it to the chipboard. And then I have glued the chipboard onto the fabric. So you can see the, the uh, gusset there of the quilted fabric. That's what you can see there. Here's uh, some uh, vintage Dewey Decimal card. Uh, that came from Denise's shop at a Tattered Dream. Here's just an old uh, 
an old consumer's hardware uh, ticket. I don't even know where I found that at. I just had it in my stash. Uh, these are some Spanish uh, flash cards there. And then I have cut some long tags um, to uh, just kind of add in there. And then uh, here I've got some ephemera. I've got another quilted pocket, a bunch of lace all collaged on that quilted fabric. Here's some vintage buttons I thought was fun. Uh, just a little tag. Here is a uh, piece of ephemera, 1921. Just like a, a uh, oh, what you want to call that? Uh, oh my goodness, I am lost for words. A calendar, vintage calendar. Uh, here are some just fun little ephemera piece that was also in that in that calendar. I, I don't remember what the calendar was for, what the company was, uh, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, and then that just fills the pocket. And then I've got some of these uh, Pointners General Store. This is some ephemera I picked up at an antique shop. Um, I also have it in the Etsy shop. And then I've just uh, put some seam binding and then put some coffee uh, stained paper there. Another one of the general merchandise uh, tickets there. Here's just a little collage. And then here is the back side. I've just made a little, a little, uh, I can't even think what that's called. I think my brain is kind of fried from all the, all the time on the computer this morning. Uh, but anyway, there's that. Uh, just did some layering in it also. Here's a piece of that vintage lace. Here is one of those little fans. I have kind of collaged it. Uh, I'm going to push this up just a hair. I have kind of collaged it, but this is in the mocha. That's what that fan is. And I kind of collaged it there. Um, this is just a tag. I'm kind of stitched on it and placed some coffee stained paper there on the back of it. Here's that uh, really pretty image there. And then here's just a little tag. And then I've also placed another little Spanish card there. Here is uh, just a little booklet. And I know that Denise uh, over to Tatter Dream has those. That's where those come from on the Spanish. And then here's another, just a little bit of a collage here with some seam binding in the the uh, coffee stained paper. I did use just that same fabric that I did the spine in to do some little tabs there. This is a collage on a little glassine bag. And the glass be uh, glassine bag I have hinged on some of that fabric. Did a little bit of collaging there. I did make an altered tag here. This is just some uh, little tickets that I bought um, on Junk General Junkies Boutique some time back. And I've just got a little piece there to make sure that stays attached where that's perforated. And that's my little altered tag there. <clears throat> and it just slips back in the bag. And then that just hinges back over. I just did a bunch of collaging. Here's another piece of that. Uh, I think I've got it draped over the page. Uh, another piece of that uh, calendar, vintage calendar. Uh, just glued some rosettes on the music sheet. And then here is some more of the... Uh, so I made a little booklet out of that. And just used that same merchandise merchandise ticket there and just there's my tab did some collaging there added some coffee stained paper here's another vintage pocket I've added another little coffee stained tag with the rusty pin uh, it's on the quilted fabric as well the pocket is made out of that and then I have collaged on top of it this is some of that vintage uh, doilies and such I just like buying those and chopping them up and that's just how I how I make my collages. That's what I use for it. There's another booklet, another altered tag. And 
And then here is some of the uh, trim that I've used that Sharon makes right here. This is in the uh, mocha color. And then here is another little collage. And then here is one of the little doilies that I actually have in the shop that she's made. This is just one of those little, uh, I believe it's three and a half inch round doily. And I've just made a pocket, just kind of made that a pocket with it. And I've tied some just little lace there. Another Dewey Decimal card there. And I actually put it uh, on this uh, rusty clip here to be sure and hold that. I, I like it to be held on there good. So anyway, that just kind of goes on there so it stays in place. And then here is, of course, again, you can see the fabric there. And this is the back. Just did a lot of layering with some different uh, uh, laces there. My little rosettes, another little booklet here. And I've just, it's just made out of just various papers there. And then I've added a little white uh, lace to it. So anyway, guys, this is the little uh, frills and frills and lace or lace and frills uh, journal and it is listed in the Etsy shop too so anyway fun 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 that was I love this I love how fat it is I absolutely love all that lace okay then the last thing I was going to show you is this little um, oh this little uh, ultra bag now on an ultra bag I use the gesso and just some stain uh, stays on stain actually in the I don't remember what color in the brown I found this stamp at Tuesday morning but I wanted you to see this here this here whenever you gesso the bag and it gets kind of wrinkly your stamp doesn't go on it uh, really you know nice and and on there because of the wrinkles in the bag uh, but that's just normal for uh, you know when you have a wrinkly bag like that uh, so anyway this is the bag and I've kind of just uh, roughed it up and you can tell it's been stained on the back side. This is not, like I said, I don't know who did this. I wish I could remember who, who I saw do a bag like that. But they just sewed it first and then they stamped several different stamps on it. It was really fun, but I don't know who I saw do that. I watched a bunch of videos and, and I just don't remember who done it. But if I ever run across it, I will be sure and... And list that because I love to give credit where credit is due. So um, here is that little journal on the inside. It's, uh, gosh, I can't remember the measurement on it. I know it's like three and a half or, yeah, three and a half by six. So that it would fit in a little bag. I've done some collaging there. So I couldn't do a lot of embellishment or it wouldn't fit in the bag. Here's, I just sewed some of that lace on did some more collaging here's just that really pretty little image there from the collection anyway it's just like almost like a little pocket journal you could just put it in your purse or slip it in your pocket even it's it's not very very big and then it's just full of just various papers there some more music sheet and anyway, I've just lined it with some of that pattern tissue paper there. Added the little handmade just for you. These were a free printable that I found uh, quite some time ago. Anyway, guys, this is my little my little journal that just fits in the little bag there. So anyway, guys, I hope that uh, that you're having a good day. And this is just kind of kind of a, a fun uh, video with all the little different finds that I had. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.